TDZ back with another video and if you guys remember I made a poll a while back ago asking if you wanted to see a one video prediction or a two parter with my commentary and the first part was going to be pre-merge and the second part was going to be merge. At the time only episode one was out but the day after I posted that episodes two, three, and four dropped and I knew the merge was coming soon so I realized there was no point to make a one part about the merge and one part about the pre-merge when the merge was coming soon. So I decided to wait until the next episodes dropped to make a prediction about the merge. And at this point, up to episode 6 has been released. So at this point in the video is a spoiler alert if you haven't seen the new season. Anyway, up until now, Scary Girl was eliminated at first, followed by Chase, Millie, and Emma. And the new episodes we got, Michelle was eliminated in episode 5, and Bowie was eliminated in episode 6. Okay, so things to note is that the merge happened in episode 6, Ripper and Axel are dating, Caleb and Priya like each other, Z knows Priya likes Caleb and thinks Caleb doesn't feel the same way, MK and Julia have an alliance, and also in episode 6, MK was caught for cheating. So I know there are leaks that confirm the final 6, but I'm staying clear of them as best as I can because I don't want to be spoiled, plus I really wanted to do this prediction. So this prediction is speculation only and spoiler free, and it's just my thoughts. With these things cleared up, let's start the prediction. Episode 7 starts with Wayne trying to cheer Raj up about Bowie's elimination, then it will cut to MK and Julia talking about how they can't cheat anymore. Julia says that sucks, but let's figure out what we can do next. Then we have a scene of Caleb and Priya bonding a little bit, and then Caleb goes to confessional saying how he realizes his feelings for Priya now and wants to date her. Then it cuts to Z and Damien hanging out before Z says I have something to tell you, and then tells Damien everything. Even the part about Caleb not being romantically interested in Priya. Then Damien replies saying that they have to tell Priya and Z stops him saying that then she will know that he told anyone about this little ordeal in the secret. Then Z asks Damien what to do but Chris announces challenge time. Um, until now I think everything is really realistic including the interactions so I think up until now my prediction is pretty solid. So I don't really know what the challenges are going to be nor do I have any clues of the such. So I'll just be appointing immunity based on story purposes, or I might pick a challenge that I think is likely to happen. Anyway, for this episode, I think Ripper will win immunity because I don't think it is time yet. Things that happen in this challenge is Wayne and Raj tells everyone that MK and Julia were the true cheaters, not Bowie, although he was involved. But as for elimination, everyone gets a marshmallow except for Julia and Raj. Then, Chris reveals that Julia had the most votes. So everyone celebrates except for Julia and MK. Then Raj asks Chris where's his marshmallow and Chris reveals that it's a double elimination. So Raj is going home too for having the second most votes. Now on to episode 8 which starts with Wayne lying in the bed thinking about Raj before Ripper walks in and asks him what's wrong. Then Wayne replies with missing Raj and Ripper then has a confessional saying he thinks the show is making him soft because he would never do what he's about to do and back in season 1. Then he starts comforting Wayne and honestly they start bonding and they hit it off. Then it cuts to Axel who is still mad about MK cheating and Axel is training. MK rolls up and Axel says what are you doing here as she goes to answer Axel cuts her off again and says give me one good reason why I shouldn't punch you right now. MK says because they need to work together and Axel shakes it off and starts walking away. MK replies with, you'll care when Ripper's eliminated, and Axel stops in her tracks and turns around. Then MK has a confessional saying she might have been getting smacked by the bear, but she's still, still seeing that Ripper is her weakness. Then Axel says, what did you just say? And MK gives her a list of reasons why Ripper would be the next to go. So Axel says, what do you want? And MK says, help me win immunity so I know you can't backstab me and I'll get the votes to save your little boyfriend. Axel says, fine, followed by a confessional of her saying, MK better not be trying to screw me over. Then it cuts to Z and Damien where Damien tells Z that Priya deserves to know and Z says, fine, and then it cuts to Caleb and Priya picking berries. Caleb goes confessional saying that he's going to ask her out and then starts to build up to the question. Priya realizes what's going on and gets really excited, but Z interrupts, saying that he has to talk to Priya. Priya asks, can it wait, but he says no. He then tells her what Caleb said a couple episodes ago, and she looks heartbroken. And then she asks Caleb, is it true, and he says, well, it started that way,
but then she runs off before he can even finish. He then asks Z why did he do that, and then Z says she deserved to know. Then Caleb explains that he thinks of her differently now, and Z says, my bad, I'll try to help you get her back. Then Chris announces it's challenge time. Up until now, the prediction is looking pretty solid. I think all of these interactions are realistic, but some of these things might not happen depending on the way that it's written. But as of right now, I think it's pretty solid. So for story purposes, this is going to be automatic elimination, and Axel asks MK what's the plan now, and then she says, just carry me to the finish. Axel growls confessional, then Wayne asks Ripper if he wanted to do the challenge with him, and he was going to say no, but then sees Axel's already off with MK, so he agrees. Then Caleb and Z go to Priya to make her see reason and try to get her to listen, but she ignores them. So the order in which people finish are as followed, Axel and MK, then Damien, Wayne and Ripper finish next, leaving just Priya, Caleb, and Z. So Priya said she's not going to let them slow her down anymore and proceeds to finish the challenge. Then Caleb has a confessional saying he can't go home now or he can never fix things with Priya, sorry Z, and kicks it into overdrive and beats Z, meaning he's eliminated. And then Z has a confessional saying he feels bad for ruining things between Caleb and Priya, but he really hopes they can fix the relationship. Then he says, wait, how'd I get here? Wasn't I just on the dock? And this is kind of a callback to his first elimination in the previous season, just because Z's a comedy genius and I doubt he would go out without saying something funny. Episode 9 will start with Ripper asking Wayne if Axel seemed uninterested as she didn't do the challenge with him yesterday. But Wayne tells him just to be straight with her and ask her. So he does and Axel didn't want to worry him so she told him she was just working on an alliance and Ripper believes it. Then she sees MK calling her over so she makes an excuse to get away from Ripper and goes to her. MK tells her today the target is Priya and says that the plan is the same as last time. Axel says fine and then goes to confessional saying that this is the last time this happens. Then it cuts to Caleb trying to apologize to Priya, but she doesn't want to hear it before it cuts to them listening to the challenge. So far, this prediction has been pretty realistic, although it's doubtable only because I don't know everything, but I think it's pretty accurate as of right now. The challenge goes on with MK using Axel as a slave, making Axel finish the challenge for them both. And when they go to talk to Chris for immunity, MK says she's taking immunity and Axel makes an angry face. But Chris says that MK didn't do her own challenge, so Axel has immunity. And when MK says that's not fair, Chris said, well, you did cheat multiple times throughout the season, so you're lucky you're not disqualified. And Axel goes to confessional, saying, serves her right. Then it cuts to the cabins, where Priya is talking to Damien about everything that went down, and every time he tries to give his input, she cuts him off and doesn't let him get anything in. And this continues until Caleb knocks on the wide open door and asks Priya if they can talk. She refuses, but then he says please, so she goes outside to talk to him, with Damien looking a little relieved to be out of the situation. He then explains everything and asks for another chance, and she's hesitant, but agrees. Then they officially start dating with a kiss. Then it cuts to elimination, and everyone is handed a marshmallow except for Priya and MK, with Priya and Caleb being really confident that Priya's not going home. Then... Chris gives the last marshmallow to MK, leaving Priya and Caleb in shock. Episode 10 will start with Caleb confronting MK about Priya's elimination, but MK blames it on Axel, saying it was her idea to target Priya in the first place. Then Caleb, really enraged, goes to Axel and confronts her about it, but Axel says it was MK's idea to target Priya. Now it cuts to the challenge. Now we're in the final six, and this is about the time where you guys will start to believe me or start to not believe me. Now, some of you already know the answer because of the leaks, but I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't say anything in the comments, because I would like to figure this out on my own. But regardless, I'm going to continue on with the prediction because everything is looking pretty realistic from here. So things that happen throughout the challenge and episode is Axel, MK, and Caleb all feuding about the Priya situation. Wayne and Ripper talking about voting Caleb, and Damien and Caleb actually becoming good friends. So, in this challenge, I decided to give Axel immunity, and right before elimination, Axel tells Ripper to vote for MK, and he doesn't even have a chance to tell Wayne about the change of plans in the voting. So, then, Chris gives Axel, Wayne, and Damien marshmallows, and the other three people had votes. So, then, 
Caleb gets a marshmallow, and he gives the last one to MK because Ripper lost in a 3 2 1 vote. But he doesn't leave without a goodbye kiss from Axel. Now, episode 11 will start with Axel figuring out how Ripper went home, and she confronts Caleb about it, and he says that he blames her for Priya's elimination, so he voted off her boyfriend. She gets mad and starts yelling, saying that it was MK's doing, and she storms off. Then she goes to talk to Wayne and tells him, since you were friends with Ripper, that makes us allies, and Wayne agrees. So Axel thinks about what to do next, and then she realizes that she wants MK out. So she comes to the realization that she has to team up with Caleb and Damien. So she asks them for their help, and Caleb agrees to vote her, and realizes that MK was behind it all, right before challenge time. Now we're in the final five, and at this point in the prediction, it might get harder and easier to predict things. And it could get harder because I could have a wrong cast, but it could be easier because I have less people to predict for. But overall, I think with the way that I've decided to go with this prediction, I think everything's pretty realistic and solid. So as for the challenge, Damien wins with ease, and MK was the target, but she didn't seem that worried. Although, because of her being the clear target, she goes to Caleb and Damien to try and get their vote. But it was no use as they were already set to eliminate MK. So, because of this, she chose to vote for Caleb with Axel, Wayne, Caleb, and Damien voting her. So, MK was supposed to be eliminated, but she used her immunity idol and Caleb was eliminated instead. So, episode 12 starts with Damien working out with Axel on a run and Axel asked him why he tagged along. He said that he's been getting better at challenges and he wanted to see if he could keep up with Axel. So that just fuels her to try harder and him as well. But Chris announces challenge time and they both say race you there. Then Damien has a confessional saying he's really improved and he thinks he can keep up with Axel now. So here's where things really start to get doubtable, especially with the whole immunity idol thing that I did with MK last episode. But I think it's really possible that she would have been the one to find it just because she's really smart and she might have been able to see some information about it when she was still cheating and looking at Chris's info as an intern. So I just think it's really still realistic and that's where I'm going with this. So Chris reveals it's an automatic elimination and it's some sort of race. MK goes confessional saying Damien's becoming way too much of a threat and she sets a trap for him. But he avoids it easily calling it child's play. But Wayne on the other hand gets caught in it. And Axel and Damien finish first, guaranteeing them a spot in the finale. But the last spot between MK and Wayne was still up for grabs. Even with the trap, Wayne almost caught up. But MK was still able to beat him, and that means that Wayne is automatically eliminated. Episode 13, or the finale, will start with MK saying she made it this far and she doesn't plan to lose now in confessional. Then, Axel also has a confessional, saying she knows she always says she's gonna win, but now that she's in the finale, she's actually starting to believe it. Then it goes to Damien's confessional, where he said he never imagined he could make it here, but now that he is, losing isn't an option. Then, Chris announces that it's challenge time. Now that we've entered the final three, we've come to the final stretch of the prediction, and everything up to this point has been pretty realistic. And now let's get right into the final challenge of the prediction. All three contestants are excited and anxious as Chris reveals three benches, having an electronic sign of the three remaining contestants above each one. And the previously eliminated contestants are sitting on the bench of the person that they're rooting for. For MK, it's just Julia. For Axel, it's Ripper, Raj, Wayne, and Bowie. And everyone else is rooting for Damien. So for the challenge, I'm going to have to get creative and make a hypothetical challenge to get a better understanding of the episode and have a true winner now that there are no alternate winners. So the first part of the challenge would be a challenge where you have to build a doll with pieces that are scattered underground that they'll have to dig for and Chris reveals they all get helpers from their bench and Julia is automatically given to MK because she has no other people who could help her of course because Julia is the only person on her bench. Then Damien picks Nichelle, who is still pretty angry at Julia for the whole fake contract thing, and she decides to use that anger to fuel her instead of be a hindrance to Damien. Axel is about to pick Ripper, but Bowie asks her if she thinks that's a good idea because they'll just kiss the whole time and he'll be more of a distraction than any help. So she picks Bowie instead. So the challenge starts and they all start digging, and Damien and Nichelle found all the parts and 
built Damien's doll in no time, giving him a free spot into the final two. So it was down to Axel and MK, and Axel is in the lead majority of the time, and almost finished, but MK and Julia came up with a plan to antagonize Axel, which made her completely ruin her doll, so she had to start all over again. But Bowie calms her down, and she apologizes to him, and they start building again. And through determination, Axel and Bowie were able to catch up to MK and Julia, and it was down to the wire, but Axel and Bowie finished first and MK was eliminated and she had to go sit on one of the others bench so her and Julia sat on Damien's because they were mad at Axel and MK's electronic sign fades out. So now Chris explains the second part of the challenge will be a car race through three different zones carrying your doll as a passenger but the helpers can no longer help so Bowie and Nichelle sat down with Nichelle slightly taunting Julia and she made her mad while Chris explains the three zones. With the first zone being the avalanche zone, where a chef will be above throwing items out of a plane. Then the predator zone, because all the vicious animals from the island are there trying to stop you. And then lastly, the sticky zone, where the sap that they used earlier in the season is everywhere. So after that, Axel and Damien starts their engines and get started with the second half of the challenge. Axel avoids all the falling objects, but a rock fell on Damien's motor. So his car stopped working, but he found some stuff on the ground and he was able to recreate another motor and that was way faster than the last one. But by this time, Axel had already made it to the sticky zone, so Damien thought he had no chance at winning. But that didn't mean he gave up. So he tried his motor out and it was way faster than he thought and he blasted right through the predator zone and caught up to Axel in the sticky zone, but Axel got stuck. And as Damien started to close in and come closer, Axel got really mad and kicked her motor, causing it to explode right as Damien got next to her car. And then that explosion caused his to explode too, and they fly into the air with their dolls towards the finish line. And the explosion caused a nearby hill with some boulders to have them roll off all over the finish line. And as Damien and Axel fall there, they were crushed by all the boulders and everyone was worried. Also, everyone was wondering who won or if anyone won at all. And just then, Damien emerged from the rubble and he was past the finish line with his doll, making him the winner. And Ripper rushed over to the rubble to find Axel and he found her behind the finish line and picked her up. And she was really sad, calling herself a failure, but Ripper cheers her up and kisses her. So those are my predictions and thoughts on how I think the season will work, with some exaggeration of course. But I hope you all enjoyed the video nonetheless. Anyway, please don't tell me if I'm wrong or not in the comments, because I haven't seen the leaks and I don't want to be spoiled. But with that, this is the end of the video, so like and subscribe please, and I hope you all have a nice day.